this is Fi Rally, and welcome back to Everland 2. Uh, looks like we did lose some progress. I was afraid of that. Weak sauce. Love, I love indie games because they put in these these funny uh, things that we say on the internet. I love the music in this area as well. It fits the theme of what's happening very well. Hi. I couldn't figure this out last time. Oh, maybe that's why. Da, da, da. It's so hard to know where you can and can't land. Hi. Uh, I messed up. So if I remember right, your depth changes every time you hit those, which gives you new jumping opportunities. I think. Could be wrong. Uh, I think we're gonna have to whip Saria out here. I'm holding down right when I hit some of these angles, so weird things happen when that happens. Oh, well, that could have gone better. I'm already forgetting what I'm supposed to do. Oh yeah, we can walk down this way. That that's what I was missing. Cause now, cause now we're on a different plane, which makes it so we can step on there. It's a very weird thing, but I like I like the idea. Besides, this entire place is weird, hence the music. That one, you do have to do that. Cool, save point. Yay, and money. Even though I don't really have any need for money at all. These are all Magiliths. How do they set up Magiliths in here? Then again, if I recall correctly, the anomaly is pretty much like Anytime you travel through time and and change things, it's like the rendering in time space. Like, you know, it's like the tearing of space, pretty much, is this whole area. And so, that's why you get entire areas like this here in Magilis. Oh, no. I got this, guys. Don't worry about it. I like these time puzzles. Now I'm waiting so that way when I walk over there, it's actually there. Oh wait, I just messed this up, didn't I? Yeah, because now we've made a paradox. <laughs> I forgot how you do this puzzle. I'm just gonna sit here and look and think this over for one pass. <laughs> because this puzzle is gonna have my brain thrown for a loop here. All right, so I think I figured this out. You need to be thinking in terms of time. So I have a theory, and I think this is how I did it the first time. If I just run around, if I hold down up when the next pass comes, my two dudes will go through at the same time. Unfortunately, I didn't time it right because the timer is too dang slow, and I messed it up. We'll get this right, guys. I know this will work. Because if I have two of me in the same space at the same time, I won't have to worry about time time to cross. That's, that hand part there is so trippy. Yes, this is exactly what you're supposed to do. I knew it! I nailed it, guys. Got the puzzle down. Boom! What is, what, what's, my, what's my prize for looking at myself in the eye here? Yay! Another bridge. Not what I was hoping for. Oh, it's Trina. Yeah, Trina has like the most dialogue in here. Do you know what, what the eye symbol means to the Magi Fire Alley? No. The Magi have always sought knowledge. They wanted to know everything about the world. To see everything this eye represents their quest for understanding. It's the all-seeing eye, the knowing eye, the eye of the beholder. For a, for a long time like then, I thought everything could be discovered. But some things are beyond our understanding. By accepting that, you become wiser. Thanks for the wisdom, Trina. <laughs> you know, I'm curious. Uh, if those little blue things from the fires are supposed to be there like that, or if that's uh, a rendering glitch, I honestly don't know. I think I remember this one. We'll just hold down the down button and see what happens. Oh, I died. Yeah, it is this one. No! Come back here, mate! Oh. 
<laughs> the army of me's to oh. die. There's just a line of dead bodies. I kind of love this puzzle for that, to be oh. honest. Oh. Wait, what happened to the other me? Oh. I'll die in his place! Oh. Oh. I'll try to stay out of their way. Oh. Oh, oh! I made it! Death! You okay, Fire Alley? You look a little pale. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm not sure I understand what's going on here. It's like I've forgotten certain things. You're managing well. It's as if you knew this place. I noticed it when we first met, Fire Alley. You're really something special. I, th I wonder if that is that alluding to the panels, Professor Jiro, or both? I don't know if Professor Jiro went through the anomaly or not, to be honest. I'm going to assume he didn't, because that guy might have should have recognized him, then again, maybe not. Hey, look, a chest, guys. Chesterino. Give me. Give me this chest. Come on. Hiya. <laughs> Yay! One down, guys. One down. It only took half the episode to do it. I figured this might take like an hour to get through all of this, so... Um... That's the way I came, isn't it? We'll go... We'll go up first. Look at this. It is this bending of all the things in time, because now we have the Orkian... Dude, guy, space here. So let's just explore around for a bit and see what I can find. Uh, there isn't too much, so something will probably happen when I step on this. Yep, kill the pots. I did it. I right, killed most of the pots anyway. I did it! Curiouser and curiouser. Now I hear sounds, kind of like broken pots echoing. But I don't see any pot shards. Yet another unsolved mystery! We're just making Trina ever more confused. It's okay, though. That's how this place works. This level's too easy. All you have to do is walk on these things and the next passage opens up. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. For once, we're not too rushed. <laughs> oh, I love, I love the dialogue in this game. <laughs> I'm curious to see what Shiro's next game will be because they just finished Northgard at the time of recording this, and so that'll be pretty cool to see. What's over on this side? Nothing. Fruitlessness. Well, let's macaroni that. Oh, really? We're gonna make me use Saria to do it for me. Ugh. Ugh. Now we use this as scaffolding. And there we go. I... Let's see, where's the next one? There it is. Why must we continue this? Ugh. No. Okay, so I think we have to jump onto that. Here we go! Woo! I, uh... Okay, that didn't... That could have gone better. Uh. Okay. Guess we shoot that one. Should have gotten to a better position before shooting it. I... I will have to remember that for next time. Yeah, we'll have to... Wait, I can't hit that anymore. Oh, no. We're stuck in two dimensions, guys. Alright, there's gotta be something I'm missing here. Timing, I guess. <laughs> that, that's always a valid way to lose. Okay, then. Gotta jump on here. And then hit that. And then... 
Okay, so we have to get down there. How do I do that? <laughs> let's let's try it from here. I think this will do it. Yeah. Now I just have to hit it again. I think we need Trina for this one. Use your scatter shot. Oh, I missed. I'll just have to do it from the air. We'll just sit here for a bit while I figure this out. Look at this shadow. Shadow. Oh yeah. yeah. No! Are we too short for it now? Oh wait, I have a better idea. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Way easier than trying to do the trick shot. There we go. That only took three minutes. Yeah. We might we actually may be able to hit all of them. Okay. Oh that's where we came from. So this is a new direction, I guess. So uh we'll smack it. Oh, that was far. Well, let's get back into the third dimension and see what's up. Okay, we got an obstacle. Things for me to jump on to get to the other side, it would seem. So let's do that. I wonder what would happen if these weren't here. Like, if these borders weren't here, would you just fall forever? I'm hoping that's what you were supposed to do. I'm getting a yes and a no from that. So the chest is there, but I'm not on the plane to reach it, I guess. Can you hit the one down there? I have to get on the right angle to do that, I suppose. No, that doesn't work. I don't see any I can just chop up. Wait, I can I can do this though. Let's try this. So we'll go here and then here. The path of most resistance is usually the best way to go about this. But then what does that do me? And just back where I started. So that means I'm missing something on that side. Oh, I think this is it. That makes sense. There we go. Believe it or not, when Devin was doing uh, these puzzles, I had to help him with it. He couldn't figure them out. Which I find to be kind of funny, because he's the... He, he loves making the uh, puzzles and things with Zelda and stuff, and I was the one that had to go figure this out before I'd help him out with it. It was the first, it wasn't, I don't, was it the anomaly? It might have been both the anomaly and the, I won't call them for the Forbidden Forest, but you know what I mean. And we still have some time in the episode, so we'll go ahead and go to this one. Okay, so we got three of these geezers. What? That looks bad, we should run. Oh no. It's using the tech against me. What am I supposed to do? Just kill them all? I killed them all. What's that do me? Was I not supposed to kill them all? No, I wasn't. Got it. So I need to trick them into stepping on the things for me. I guess that's what the hint was. I didn't do anything. Oh my gosh! Do I kill him now? I guess so. Uh, that's one way you do it, right? Let's let's get Scatty ready to roll. I have a feeling that this is gonna get even crazier before it gets better. No, they don't let me. Okay, 
here we go. I don't think you guys have seen Sky in the future yet. This is what the animation looks like. It's pretty gnarly. It's like in space. Ain't that cool? Space. Oh, no. Did you see that, Fire Alley? They duplicated themselves with that thing. Good thing that doesn't happen to you when you walk on it. After all, there's only one fire alley in the world. Not exactly. Yay, puzzle time. Look, another bridge. It certainly looks like you'll have to walk across the void. If I were you, I'd avoid falling. I'd have a sneaking feeling that if you fall here, you might never reach the bottom. I wonder what it's like to have li to live to have live here forever. I suppose you probably end up getting bored, especially toward the end. I don't know. Do you age in this place? <laughs> I've never asked that question before, but it makes sense. Do you even age in this place? I mean, I. Oh. Hello there. Yeah, I figured that wouldn't be the case. It's an Indiana Jones. Take the path of most resistance and you're usually in a good place, right? Whee! Whoa, this is so trippy, guys. <laughs> Cause that all warps around you. Invisible knees. Am I not tall enough to reach that? No, I gotta get taller. This is so weird. Look at all the fires. Does Jatai have something to do with this? Because those things showed up with him. And there we go. We made it. And there are actually extra things in the anomaly, just so you know. So we will be doing those before we leave the place. Boing. We did it. What's your analysis, Trina? I hope this is the last stage. But at the same time, I'm beginning to worry about what happens next. How about you, Fire Alley? Are you scared? Uh... Sorry, I shouldn't have asked you that. But you're a lot stronger than me. I wish I had your courage. There we go. I don't know. I've, when I first played through the game, I think I said I wasn't scared. And I, I remember that quote for whatever reason now. Um, Is there anything bonus I can do now? I don't think so. I remember seeing that chest over there, but I don't think it matters. So I guess we'll do whatever this is on the next episode, and we'll try and also figure out how to do the 100% stuff here at that time as well. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode. I will see you guys on the next one. Have a great rest of your day.